Hey y'all, I just wanted to take a little time and say happy Valentine's Day and all of that. Um, I, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I was able to get on. Um, I've just been busy, um, you know, creating, doing my art. Um, I've been um, pushing my um, body butters and bath bombs. Um, a lot of orders came in. I, you know, because the holiday, so they've been keeping me busy, and I'd like to thank all of those people who supported me uh, and my business. Um, much love, much appreciation, you know, all of that. Um, I just, uh, I'm overwhelmed, I'm humbled, you know, I thank you, um, and I also wanted to say, you know, um, if everybody can, you know, let's all, like, show random acts of kindness, um, you know, I think it, the world, we, we need more random acts of kindness. So, you know, if everybody can, you know, do one random act of kindness a day. It doesn't have to be anything great. It can be something small, you know, a, 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 a smile. It's something that just lets us know that we see, you know, you in the physical. Because we're so um, caught up in, in the virtual and technology and stuff like that. We forget about the actual person that's right there in our presence um and so um i think if we can start reconnecting you know um we it could reverse some of the stuff that's going on and i think that's what's um actually happening and that's why a lot of senseless killing and the way people are responding and reacting is we're not identifying we're so used to watching things play out on tv and our cell phones facebook social media that when it happens in front of us you know, we're like, you know, the same way. We're just looking at it going like, oh, wow, I can't believe that just happened. You know, but yeah, it just happened, but we're not responding properly. So, um, I don't know. I, um, I just wanted to say that. Uh, let's spread some kindness um, and, and everything. Um, be kind to each other. You know, let's get some good energy going um, around and, and let's reverse a lot of this stuff that's playing out right now. We're so much better than that. And, um, you know, it seems like, you know, we're not showing loyalty um, for our society, our species, our humanity. You know, we're giving our loyalty uh, into the wrong, to the wrong, our energies in the wrong direction. So we need to channel those energies back. Uh, in a positive way, and that comes through love, peace, and giving back, the love of giving back, the art of giving back, you know, kindness, gestures, conversation, small talk, looking out for other people's children, you know, collaborating, you know, um, raising our villages, using each other's resources. We need to get back to that um, because what's going on now, everybody's out for themselves. It isn't working because we, we're not in this world by ourselves. We are in this world together until we understand that that we have to learn how to utilize each other um, collaboratively in order for the well-being of the whole neighborhood, the whole, you know, um, city. You know, it's too much segregation, too much... Uh, you know, there's no such thing as one can be any greater than the other because we all have our roles that we play. And once we figure that out, um, you know, I think it'll just be a lot easier and a lot better um, in the long run because all of this man versus woman, white versus black, Muslims versus Christians, it's all unnecessary. We're the only species that's out here labeling. You know, no other species label except us and and that's kind of maybe our our what's holding us back we need to drop a lot of these labels that we're putting on ourselves and just be you know everybody be 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 who it is that we're going to be and another thing i wanted to say parents teach your kids i mean we have this thing where we're like okay go to school you go to school you go get a job teach your kids a trade something other outside of themselves you know that they can learn and make money doing you know if your dad is an auto mechanic then he should be teaching his sons and his daughters auto body auto mechanic 
that's something that they can take with them that will get them through college, get them through those hard times. You know, do hair. If your mom is a, is a barber or in her kids, they should be learning these trades and these skills too. If the mom is a good cook, teach your children the art of, of cooking. That could be catering jobs that she can get. That could be sandwiches that she could be hustling and selling for like, you know, these um people like bus drivers, male people that don't have the time to go. They, if they know how to hustle in a positive way. It keeps them out of a lot of trouble. You know, and, and I, I mean, everybody can't be a gangster. Everybody can't be, you know, a hustler. You know, you got to get a trade. Do something that, you, that you're that you good at and make that and run with it. You know what I'm saying? Skies is the limit. Take what it is that you like to do. Be good at it. Practice your craft. Practice your craft. Get good at it. And go make you some money doing that. You ain't got to be going out here slinging drugs, joining a gang to eat. You find something you like to do and something that people want. And you make yourself a commodity doing it. That's anything. Shoot, I used to sell candy at school. Because we couldn't, we had closed campus. So I used to always go and hit the wall, Walgreens at that time. Woolworth, that's what I'm, that's tell, I'm telling my age now. Woolworth, we go get a big old bag of candy, sell Tootsie Rolls for a nickel. You gotta learn how to do, how to hustle. You gotta learn how to hustle. Hustle in a positive way, a good way. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, iPhones is popular. Everybody got an iPhone, but nobody can fix those damn screens. Learn how to go fix the screens. If you can fix the screens for 20 bucks, make a killing. I see most kids I see always got broken iPhone screens, and then everybody's looking who who fixes iPhone screens. Then you gotta go pay eighty, a hundred dollars. Learn how to fix that shit yourself. It ain't hard. It's five screws. Look it up, YouTube it. They're showing you how to do it. Learn how to do it, and that could be your little side hustle, fixing other people's iPhones. Y'all need to like you know get it, get it in your head. Find something outside of slinging drugs. Gang banging <laughs> to get money to eat. There's a lot of ways that you can eat, and it don't cause. It don't mean that you got to go out there and do harm to another person that's out there struggling, just like you. You know, we're all out here in this together. We're all struggling together. All of us. Some some show it. Some we hide it. But everybody's out here struggling. Trust me. All colors. We're all out here struggling together. So, you know, we y'all need to figure it out. Find something positive that you can do. You know, it, it's a lot of things going on. And it's a lot of ways that you can utilize this. Daycare, babies, people can. Do you see how they're changing this daycare action? They kicked a lot of people. If you make, what, less than 400 or $500 a month now, they're kicking you off daycare action. Shoot, daycare, and that's a hustle. But you treat those kids, right? Don't you go out there and be smoking weed and getting high around the kids. Your job is your job. That means practice your craft. And when you're practicing your craft, you're doing it right. You got time for playing. That's when you're not working. But when you're working, you work right. You be honest about it. Get it? Bye.